In this video, I'm going to teach you the Charlie Air Cut, which is a one-handed cut. Uh, the move looks like this. And you can repeat it as many times as you want in a row. And to do the move, you start out with the cards relatively high up in your hand. You don't want them down by your palm. The higher the better, especially if you have small hands. You start with the one long end against the thumb, the other long end against the three fingers, and then the short end against the first finger here. The first move is to get the bottom packet of cards to drop down. Uh, so you can allow gravity to help you with this, and basically all you do is release pressure with uh, your thumb on those cards that you're holding there. Um, one thing to note is that the deck isn't perfectly flat in parallel with the table. You know, you angle it down almost so that it's perpendicular, and you allow those cards to fall. And the next part is to take your first finger and move it underneath those cards, and then just push up on those cards until they make contact with the thumb. If you have smaller hands, this might be more difficult, so about halfway you might have to release with the thumb until you can get to that position. That's alright. So, once you actually make contact with the thumb here, all you have to do is release it and then allow these two packets to kind of switch so that this bottom packet goes along the edge of the top packet. So you drop down and then you switch. To do that, you release with the thumb and then now this uh, original top packet is strictly supported by your first finger in this other packet here. Which means if you lower your first finger, that packet falls and then your cut pretty much completes itself and then you can use these fingers to kind of push in to aid in that process and then use the thumb to push down to complete the cut. Um, if you have trouble getting these cards to fall, you can use your first finger here to kind of pull them down and then push them up and then that's the cut. And then once you have it completed, you're going to end with the cards deep in your palm. So if you want to repeat it again, you have to push up with that first finger by extending it and then eventually when the cards reach the place you want, you make contact with the thumb and then you can repeat the move as many times as you want.